previously on Totally Primal. Today we're gonna focus on our pizza dough. I know it doesn't seem like much, but this is all you need to make about four pizza dough balls at home. Now what we're watching here is we're waiting for it to start forming a dough. What I'm looking for is 15 ounce dough balls, 15.1, perfect. We just roll them around like this and letting it roll inside your fingers. The second method we can do is you take one dough ball and you just fold it over the top. We keep going and we're working the air bubbles out. Our dough takes two days to make before it reaches your plate, but that's how we feed your instincts. So this is what our dough ball is gonna look like after it's rested for about 24 hours. Kind of flattens out a little bit. So first we're gonna cover this in flour. Now here in the restaurant, we use a dough sheeter. That's the machine behind me here. But a lot of folks don't have those at home. So I'm gonna show you a technique that you can use at home. It's very simple. Put your dough ball down. Make sure you got lots of flour down there. Now we're gonna start kind of forming our crust by just gently pushing and creating a crust on the outside, just like that. And just keep turning it and keep spinning it. And now you can see the crust kind of start to take form right there. So now I'm gonna start pulling ever so slightly on that crust edge, trying to keep a nice even crust like that. And you don't even have to pick it up. You can just keep going like this and then we're gonna start stretching the dough like that. We don't wanna get too many thin spots and it's gonna move pretty quickly. And there we go, now we're ready to put her down. That air bubble in the middle is actually good because it allows you to reshape everything. And then we're just gonna go just like that. That is a 14 inch pizza crust. That's from a 15 ounce dough ball that we made earlier. So now let's get some sauce on it. We're gonna make a venison Italian sausage pizza. So first I'm gonna get my pizza sauce, six ounces, drop it right in the middle. It's best to have a rounded spoon like this because you're gonna splash it down the middle and start doing a circle. And you wanna get it to about a quarter inch, half inch from the outside of the crust because you want that crust to cook up nice in the oven. So we're gonna just spread it out like that, make sure we don't have any thin spots. Next, we're gonna put some cheese on it. So a very important part about pizza making is you never center load the pizza because as it cooks, all those ingredients are actually going to move towards the center. So if you put them all in the center to begin with, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a whole lot of crust on the outside. So we're gonna make sure everything is nice and even along the outside of the pizza. So this is our homemade venison Italian sausage. We make this right here in house. We grind it, mix it, smoke it, ready for you guys. So we just start throwing our toppings on there. Nice even distribution. Nobody wants to fight over a piece, says, hey, you got more sausage than I did. We don't want that happening around here. Now that we got that done, let's get into the pizza oven. So we're cooking on a 550 degree flat rock in here. That's actually the temperature of the stone at the bottom of the pizza oven. Up in the dome in the oven, we're looking at about 800 degrees. Now we can use that top dome where if somebody wants their pizza extra crispy, what we'll do is we'll hold it up into the dome. I'll show you what that looks like in a second here. Any pizza dough naturally is gonna have some bubbles in there. So we're gonna take our hook right here. And I'm gonna pop those bubbles. Because it might push the ingredients around. Simple. I'm gonna grab my handy dandy spatula here. I'm gonna go right in, I'm gonna go right to the front of that crust, give it a spin and put it right back. So let's say we had a customer that wanted it um, extra done. So I'm gonna take this pizza, I'm gonna take a look at it. Crust is looking real nice. It's getting nice and bubbly on top, but they wanted it a little crispier. So I'm actually gonna grab this pie and stick it right up in the air up here. And I'll give it about 10 or 15 seconds so I'll bring her down. Nice and bubbly. 
So I'm gonna give it another spin, make sure we got the crust cooked all the way through. I wanna get that front part done a little bit more. All right, I think our pizza is just about done here. We're gonna pull it forward again, and it looks beautiful. So we're gonna bring that right over here, and it's ready to be sliced. Our venison Italian sausage pizza. Now that is totally primal. Thank you for joining us today on Totally Primal. I'm David, and I'll see you again next time. First, we gotta loosen this thing up from there. So we're gonna give it a little shake, and we're gonna lose some of those toppings, but we're gonna put them back. <laughs> so there's our venison Italian sausage people. <laughs> wow. <laughs> few holes in it. See how big I can make it. <laughs>